Welcome. This is 49D7, and now we're going to talk about a thing called resonance. Um, resonance occurs when you drive an oscillator at its natural frequency. We say if a periodic force is applied to a system, the amplitude of the resulting motion becomes greater than normal when the frequency of the, of the applied force is equal to the natural frequency of the system. And so if I look at this diagram, I'm showing amplitude here, and we're showing driving frequency, and then what I have is the natural frequency. You know, the, the what the thing would vibrate at if you just put energy into it. And if you're driving it at that natural frequency, what you find is the amplitude gets bigger and bigger and bigger, indicating that you're storing more and more energy in the system. And there's some classic examples. There's a there's a video which I show in my class sometimes, and it's of a it's like a skateboard. It's a car with wheels on, and then it's got various oscillators, various systems, and they they can tune these so that they have different natural frequencies and when the student oscillates the skateboard at the frequency that matches say the uh, lowest natural frequency this vibrates tremendously and the other ones ignore the oscillation they just ride along with the skateboard and if the same skateboard same operator same everything if the student then oscillates the uh, uh, skate, os oscillates the skateboard backwards and forwards at a frequency which matches the highest frequency, it oscillates like crazy and the other two tend to ignore it. Because the student is driving the oscillator at its natural frequency. Um, this can be bad. Uh, there's a famous example of a thing called the Tacoma Narrows Bridge which was, I think at the time, it was the second, second longest suspension bridge, uh, I think either in America or in the world, I don't remember which, and it just happened that it had a natural frequency which was accessible by gale force winds blowing over it, and uh, the, the winds caused a vibration which matched the natural frequency of the bridge, and it literally ripped the bridge to pieces in a matter of hours. Just very unlucky. As a Boy Scout, I was always taught break marching step when you cross a bridge. Not that we ever marched. We didn't march through the countryside, but it was one of those little uh, folklore things that scout masters we used to teach their scouts. You know, oh, never march across a bridge. Uh, because the idea was if you were marching across, say, a wooden bridge and you hit the natural frequency, then uh, it would bounce more and more and more. And, you know young people been young people the chances are you'd, you'd do it even more and more just to see how much you could make it bounce um, but if you if you have a child and you go to the park you quickly realize that if you push your child at the right frequency the frequency which matches the swing your child will go higher and higher and higher and they'll be very pleased if you go up and push them and then come back a bit later and push them at some haphazard time and come back a bit later and push them at some haphazard time, first of all, they won't go very high. And secondly, uh, they uh, will not have a good time. And the third thing is, if you get hold of your child and just shake your child backwards and forwards at much too high a frequency, they will not have a pleasant time. So here we're matching the natural frequency we're matching the driving frequency of the parent to the natural frequency of the child and swing. And actually, even, even radio transmission, when you press a button on your car, which changes the setting of your radio, you're changing the electrical circuits. You're, you're, you're changing the basically an oscillator. You're basically changing a uh, capacitor or an inductor, usually a capacitor, and that's changing the natural frequency of the receiving circuit which is in your car. Now the car picks up all local radio stations but the fact of the matter is is that you hear the radio station that you're tuning because 
the driving frequency of that radio station now matches the natural frequency of the circuit. And when you press the button for the next radio station, you're changing the natural frequency of your circuit to match the driving frequency of that other radio station. So this is quite really a very useful concept. We'll come back to this later in the course. Uh, for the moment, true or false, um, the dissidence is the term used for a situation where an oscillator is driven at its natural frequency, and that's false. It's resonance, not dissidence. Resonance. And then true or false, resonance occurs when a periodic force that has a high frequency as a higher frequency then the system's natural frequency is applied to the system also that's false you can often tell when they're false because the English does not make sense <laughs> but um, the resonance occurs when the periodic force uh, that is the same frequency as the system's natural frequency is applied to the system so just two conceptual questions for this and there we have it